The United States produces more than 4.1 trillion kilowatt hours of electricity every year. This is a balancing act, complicated, expensive, and critical to public safety. Calculating transmission capacity involves taking a snapshot in time under a set of assumed operating conditions. These operating conditions, by their nature, are not fixed. Load, generation, network configuration, and anticipated contingencies can and do change from moment to moment. Researchers at Idaho National Laboratory have developed a dynamic line rating methodology and suite of software tools known as GLASS, or General Line Ampacity State Solver, that assists utilities in reducing thermally limited congestion. This methodology focuses on operationally increasing transmission capability by capturing environmental changes through a weather-based solution called Computational Fluid Dynamics, or CFD. Working with multiple utilities, researchers at INL have witnessed through field validation that capacity increases between 10 and 60 percent are achievable. Capacities above 60 percent were observed in instances where wind generation was the primary load source on the line. Using software pioneered by WindSim, INL has been able to incorporate data from dozens of weather stations into a single computational fluid dynamics model. As the U.S. Department of Energy oversees the modernization of the nation's electrical grid and renewable sources become more widespread, INL feels that every available resource will need to be brought to bear. Our general line capacity state solver, GLASS for short, gives system planners, transmission line design engineers, and control center operators the data they need keep their system running at maximum efficiency. Having reliable weather data and accurate models to predict and forecast line opacity is where this truly becomes impactful. With two industry-supported pilot projects in Idaho and a third location in Alberta, Canada, INL is developing an industry-informed dynamic line rating solution to monitor conditions along hundreds of miles of transmission lines and provide a reliable way to mitigate congestion, increase situational awareness and reliability, and defer capital expenses. Idaho Power has been working with Idaho National Laboratory on bringing dynamic line capacity analytics to more than 450 miles of transmission lines in southern Idaho. The integration of the DLR data into the control center will continue to be the team's focus. Given the choice between building new transmission lines or making the most of what exists, the power industry is paying attention to glass. Considering that old infrastructure needs replacing, Transmission expansion is required, and customers are sensitive to utility bill increases. Glass could offer a way to buy utilities time and spread the costs out while lines are reconducted and or permitted and new lines built.